Hey everybody, my name is Andy George, and I'm with Southwest Airlines. So to start off, I have a question to ask all of you. So how would you feel if you had, you had been recycling every day for the past two years, setting aside the time and putting in the effort only to realize that all of it had just been going to a landfill? Not very good, right? So something very similar has been happening in Dallas for the past two years. So we, Southwest Airlines, are stepping up to restore the public space in recycling. And we hope to do so through the Restore Project, which is going to be a large recycling event in downtown Dallas at Claiborne Park, and um, where the main incentive for people to come recycle will be our discounted flight tickets through us. So this is a large landfill in Dallas. And if you can see here, there is a lot of plastic and a bunch of other recycling material. So this is because over the past 21 months, like this catastrophe that I recently mentioned, 20%, a little less than 20% of all recyclables in Dallas have been going to a landfill and not to a recycling facility, which is a tragedy. And, um, and this has been happening, happening across 14 North Texas cities in the Dallas Metroplex, and it has equated to thousands of tons of recycled materials going to a landfill and not not a recycling facility. So why did we pick Dallas to host this large recycling event? So Dallas has been on the track for zero waste for, by 2040. So we've set that goal and we recently had a huge setback. So this setback was the recycling catastrophe where everything was going to a landfill. And it's actually, we uncovered it pretty recently. It was actually last month, February of 2016. So now that we know, Dallas has cleaned up their act and everything is going where it needs to go. but now the understandably Dallas's faith in recycling has been you know, put down a little bit. So this event is to get their faith back into recycling. So this event can get Dallas back on track and it's also to set the standard for other major cities too because if Dallas can do it, if Dallas can get to zero waste by 2040, why can't other cities? Why can't a city like LA, why can't a city like New York do it too? So, so the impact we can have through this event so, um, so if, as you can see here on the left, this is, these are the numbers for the entire U.S. The, these are the numbers of materials, recyclable materials wasted every year. So they just go into the waste stream and they're never recycled. And the number to the right is the number wasted every 10 days by a single person. So if we scale this number up to the city of Dallas, these will be in the millions. So that's how much we can save if the entire city of Dallas were to come to our event. But if we're just looking at the capacity of our event, we're looking at hundreds of thousands of each of these items that can be saved through our event. And that's not even including the, the extended impact we can make by people telling their family and friends and everything else. And now I will pass it off to Melissa, who will speak a little bit about, about who's all involved in our event. Okay, so the key players for this event is us, Southwest Airlines, as well as Blue Bond and Waste Control, the team we're hiring in order to take the recycled materials away, as well as the people of Dallas. A couple of facts about us at Southwest Airlines is that we're headquartered in Dallas in Love Field Airport. We are one of the highest performing airline companies in the industry. We are known to be very philanthropic. By that I mean we've already donated over $20 million in donations to other nonprofit organizations. We were ranked 161 in the Fortune 500, and currently we have over 48,000 employees. We've already accumulated over 144,000 hours of volunteering between our employees, and we're also known to be very resourceful. And that I mean we've been ranked number one in in-service food efficiency, as well as we were awarded the Eco Award in 2012. Now that you know a couple, about, a couple things about us and why we're very passionate about this event, I'll tell you about Bubana Waste Control. Bubana Waste Control is also headquartered in Dallas, and they are in Singleton Boulevard. They have been an industry member of the Dallas Regional Chamber for several years now, so many of you might already know them. They are the largest independent and locally owned and operated refuse hauler in the Dallas area, and they have many different services such as recycling, waste hauling, as well as equipment rentals. These equipment rentals would include um, portable toilets, compactors, containers, and such things that we will all be using. Next, I will hand it over to Patricia to talk to you about the plan. So the plan is to have us, Southwest Airlines, give discounts on flights relative to the amount of recyclable material that participants bring into our event. 
will have blue bonnet waste control take care of the processing and handling of all of the recyclable waste. And all of this will be happening at an event that we'll be hosting, which is a block party, and it'll be at Clydeborn Park in Dallas. So now I'll take you guys through the necessary steps that we'll have to go through for our event through a participant standpoint. So the first step, we'll have all of the participants gather up their recyclable materials and bring them to our event at Clyde One Park. The second step is to have all of the participants come to our event and check in. They'll have two options to check in their recyclable materials. They can either park and bring their recyclable material to our event, or we'll have a lane blocked off by the Dallas Police Department and they can uh, pull up and drop off their recyclable materials and check in that way. The third step, we'll have Blue Bonnet Waste Control take care of the processing and handling of the recyclable material, and they will bring all of the recyclables to the nearest recycling center. The fourth step, we'll have all of the participants come to our event, which is our block party, and they can enter um, regardless of the amount of recyclables that they bring in. The fifth step will have us, Southwest Airlines, give discounts relative to the amount of recyclable materials that everyone brings in. And now I'll hand it off to Peter, who will talk more about the discounts that we'll be giving. All right. So our main incentive for our project is going to be the discount of flight tickets that we're going to be giving out. Now, if you can bring anything at all, we're going to give you like a small can or something like that. We'll give you access to our block party. After that, the levels do go up. We can bring about 10 pounds of recycled materials, you will get 5% off the flight ticket. 20, 20 pounds, you get 10% off. 35, you get 15% off, and so on. Now, there's going to be a little bit more incentive for the top three, recyc top three recyclers of the day. They will receive a free domestic flight ticket of their choice to their location of choice. Now, the second incentive that we will be having is the block party. And this will be aimed for the people with families and children and stuff like that. So they can have a little bit of fun along with our event. So it's going to be on Saturday, April 22nd, 2017, and this is important because it will be held on Earth Day of that year. It will be held from 10 to 4, and it will be located at Clyde Mount Park. Now there will be three aspects for a block party. There will be music, food, and activities. Music will be provided by a local DJ in the area. Food will be provided initially by the local food trucks that are present at Clyde Warren. But we've also managed to acquire Chipotle as our main vendor. The reason we chose Chipotle as our main vendor is because they've been known to recycle approximately 30% of their waste at all their, across all their locations. Finally, we'll be having small activities like plant plowing, solar s'mores, recycled art contest, and more, and this will all be just for, again, the children and families. Next, I'll be handing it off to Melissa to talk about the staff. Okay, so we will be having 100 volunteers for this event. These volunteers will be coming from UTD Sustainability Club, UTD's um, Students for a Better Society, um, UTD's Heat Club, Human Environment and Animal Team, SMU's Environmental Club, and all of these volunteers will be assisting in the activities for the block party. They'll also be assisting in crowd control as well as taking the recycled materials away from participants that don't wish to join in in the block party. We'll be having 20 green team staff members. Green team staff members are volunteer staff that have a passion for augmenting environmental practices throughout our company. Um, they will be assisting in check-in as well as coordination with Blue Bonnet Waste Control. Speaking of Blue Bonnet Waste Control, we will be having two Blue Bonnet trucks with crew that will be taking their cycling materials away. We will also be having 34 security members to making sure that this event goes safely and smoothly since we do expect a huge turnout for this event. Next, I will be handing it over to Isaac to talk about marketing. Now, for marketing and social media, our Facebook page has over 4.5 million likes. Our Instagram has about 200,000 followers and our Twitter has about 2.5 million. Now, if we were to put information about our event and put it on those social media links, I believe that we'll have a lot of people come out, especially since Dallas is, since we are headquartered here at Dallas. <coughs> now, this is the flyer that we'll be handing out to everyone in the Dallas area before the event. It includes the date, the time, and where it's going to be located, and it gives you a summary of what to expect once you get there. Now, I'll be handing it off to Peter for the budget. 
All right, so the total cost for our event will be approximately 44950 meaning that the cost of the change will be about 22475 Now, the breakdown of the budget is as follows. The main aspect of our budget is to be for the park control itself. So it cost us about 15000 and we got this number by filling out the paperwork and contacting Clyde Warren about how much it would cost based on our event. Apart from that, it will cost us about $8,000 from Blue Bonnet, and this will be for the trucks, the containers, delivery, and pickup. Uh, equipment will be about 9000 and this will be for our boots that we actually set up, as well as the materials needed for our events. The DJ will cost us about 600 The Salinis will be about 7000 and this will be for things such like as the security deposits and stuff like that. Uh, security will cost us about 5000 and this is for the 34 members, as you mentioned earlier, that will be getting paid about $20 an hour. And then flyers will cost us about $350 to print out the title. Now I'll be handing it off to Sandu to finish up. All right, so can our event really make a difference? I know many of you may know the impacts of recycling, and there, you've heard it all your, your, your life probably. It can be economical, and because recycling is actually cheaper than sending something to a landfill so, and incinerating. So on average, um, recycling costs about $30 a ton, um, sending to a landfill costs about 50 and incinerating costs anywhere between 65 to 75 So recycling really is the cheapest option. And recycling also creates jobs in the recycling industry. It's very ecological, and it also promotes sustainability in the community. And but Dallas has been foregoing all of these benefits recently because we, we have not been actually recycling our recycled materials. So we believe that with the, with the Restore Project, we can restore the public's faith in recycling and bring back these benefits to the community. And with the help of the people in Dallas, we can hopefully save millions of recyclables from going, from going to a landfill and instead going to a recycling processing plant. And with the help of the chamber, hopefully we can make this event happen and help Dallas hit our goal of zero waste by 2020.